HIV seroconversion. What is it? After a person contracts HIV, their immune system begins to develop HIV antibodies. Seroconversion is the period during which these antibodies first become detectable. Most HIV tests check for the presence of HIV antibodies. So, if a person who has contracted the virus takes a test before seroconversion begins, the result will usually be negative. During seroconversion, a person may also experience flu-like symptoms such as a fever and body aches. In this video, we dis discuss seroconversion and how it affects testing for HIV. How long does seroconversion take? The length of time between first contracting HIV and developing detectable antibodies can vary because everyone's immune system is different. It can also depend on the type of HIV test that a person takes. Most HIV tests detect the presence of HIV antibodies. People usually develop detectable antibodies within 3 to 12 weeks of contracting HIV. Is HIV transmittable before seroconversion? A person can transmit HIV before seroconversion. Even when the immune system has not yet produced detectable amounts of HIV antibodies, the virus is still active. In the time between contracting the virus and seroconversion, most people do not know that they have HIV. If they take a test, their result will likely be negative. Anyone concerned about HIV exposure should speak to a healthcare provider. Symptoms during seroconversion When the body is first producing detectable levels of HIV antibodies, people often experience symptoms similar to those of the flu or other viral infections. Symptoms of seroconversion may include fatigue, fever, a sore throat, a headache, body aches, swollen lymph nodes, swollen tonsils, a rash. These symptoms can also appear during the earliest stage of HIV infection, which is called the acute stage. The symptoms occur because the immune system is mounting and mounting an attack against the virus. Symptom symptoms usually last for around 14 days, but they can last for months. Some people experience no symptoms during the initial stage of infection. Testing for HIV HIV testing is crucial because it can lead to earlier detection and treatment and less risk of transmission. The only way for someone to know for sure whether they have HIV is to take a test. Some people may not be aware that they have contracted the viruses, virus because HIV infections do not always produce symptoms. Authors of a 2016 study concluded that expanding screening criteria to include a broader range of signs and symptoms such as those listed above may increase the amount of acute HIV infection diagnosis which will ult ultimately advance prevention and treatment strategies. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommend that everyone between the ages of 13 to 64 years old take at least one HIV test as a routine part of their medical care. The Center Centers for Disease Control and Prevention
suggest that people with a high risk of contracting HIV take an annual test. The accuracy of HIV test has improved significantly since scientists first identified the virus. However, no test can accurately detect HIV immediately after a person contracts the virus. There are three main types of HIV test. Nucleic Acid Test or NATS. This check the blood for the presence of the virus RNA, virus, viruses RNA. They can also determine how much of the virus is present, which is called the viral load. Nucleic acid test are ac accurate during the early stages of infection, but they are very expensive. Healthcare providers typically reserve these tests for people who have had recent high-risk exposure and who have early symptoms of HIV infection. Antibody and Antigen Test This test for HIV antibodies and antigens. Antigens are proteins that trigger the body's immune response. HIV produces an antigen called P24 which is present before the body starts producing HIV antibodies. These tests are now common in the United States. Antibody test. This test for the presence of HIV antibodies and require a person to give a blood or oral fluid sample. This type includes most rapid at home HIV tests. Antibody test that use blood from a vein can detect HIV earlier than those that use oral fluid or blood from a finger prick. Testing positive for HIV If the result of any HIV test is positive, the person should take a different test to confirm the results. A healthcare provider can advise about the best follow-up test to take. Pre-exposure, prophylaxis or PREP is a daily medication that people with a very high risk of contraction HIV can take to reduce their risk. Pre-exposure prophylaxis can significantly lower the risk of infection, but it alone cannot entirely protect people from contracting the virus. If someone tests test positive for HIV, they should stop taking PREP immediately. Continuing, continuing PREP in these circumstances can cause the virus to become resistant to the treatment. It is important for people who test positive for HIV to inform any current or former sexual partners. They should also discuss treatment options with their healthcare provider. One study investigated the benefits of earlier antiretroviral treatment in 4,685 people with HIV. The researchers found that the participants who had received immediate antiretroviral therapy had a redu reduced viral load and lower risk of serious health complications. Compared to participants who received treatment later when they had lower CD4 plus T cells counts. CD4 plus T cells are a type of white blood cell that fights infection. HIV kills these cells reducing the immune system's function. A CD4 plus cell count is a measure of how healthy a person's immune system is. Testing negative for HIV Because of the interval between contracting HIV and the start of 
zero conversion a negative test result does not necessarily necessarily mean that a person does not have the virus anyone connect connected concerned about a recent, about a recent potential exposure to hiv should have a follow up test after the interval is over the test provider can advise about the best time to take a second test treatment for hiv although there is no cure treatment can help most people with hiv live long healthy lives this treatment known as anti retroviral therapy typically involves taking a daily combination of three or more medications the medicines reduce a person's viral load to very low levels slowing the progression of hiv and helping to protect the immune system taking antiretroviral therapy as the doctor instructs can reduce the viral load until it is undetectable a person with an undetectable viral load has effectively no risk of sexually transmitting hiv to another person however there is not enough data to determine whether a person can still transmit the virus by sharing needles in addition experts currently recommend that mothers with hiv do not breastfeed